But before we started to make the film, did you do any preparation aside from obviously studying the script and and connecting with the characters? What what sort of preparation did you do for this? Well, first of all, I read the book. Um, and then, if you'll recall, Mr. Friedkin, <laughs> we had a very long time before we started shooting. And you took me to the uh, Metropolitan Museum to look at paintings on a Monday when the museum was closed and we had it all to ourselves. Um, we played music together. You showed me photographs, including the Magritte that you used for the famous uh, ad for the film. Uh, you showed me the books uh, that had been written about the research that was done on the real case. Um, you filled me with information and background and understanding of what I was getting myself in for. So I was very well prepared by you by the time we went into rehearsal. So thank you, sir. Oh, that's great. But you, you also were raised Catholic, weren't you? I was. But you weren't Catholic at the time we made the film. Oh, I wasn't Catholic from 17 on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I guess you're still not a Catholic. I'm still not. No, OK. No. No. But what did you make of this stuff? Outside of the fact that it's obviously a wonderful role, that you completely um, uh, fulfilled. Uh, fulfilled, and you. <laughs> what did you make of the idea of possession and exorcism itself? Well, I know that it's happened. Uh, you know, I, I read the the material on the actual case of the boy, but I know throughout history, you know, there's that wonderful uh, play, the Dybbuk, uh, which is a the Jewish version of <laughs> The Exorcist, but older. And certainly there are um, many ancient writings about uh, people being possessed by spirits. Um, I don't pretend to know. I only know that there's more to the universe than we have any idea about, and I don't tie myself down to one belief system that says, okay, this is the way it is. I live in a state of awe and gratitude that the universe keeps surprising us and unfolding more and more of its complexity to us in so many different ways. So um, I don't rule out anything. And in my life, the metaphysical expresses itself through the physical many times and in many different ways. So I'm open to it all. and grateful for every bit of revelation that comes.